Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Grimpine. This is Let's Play Pac-Man World 3, Part 14. Uh, last time I left y'all off, uh, I was in this little spinning platform room, and uh, it was pretty interesting. But uh, I decided to um, move on to the actual progression, where I fought all those robots that you saw me fight. But anyway, so here we are, going through more stuff, because... That's what we do, because we're Pac-Man. And these pac dots are acting weird, because they're disappearing the moment that I get next to them. Very odd. Very odd. Whoa! Armalopes! Oh no. This could be bad. This could be very bad. I gotta find some health. Maybe over here in these. Oh. Was built a long time ago, Pac-Man. Even I don't understand it all. You probably have to activate something else first. Well, I think I just skipped part of a cutscene there, where Pac-Man asked what the heck this thing was. But fortunately, we at least got the explanation for whatever Pac-Man asked. There we go. Now then, what do we have here? We have another save point, that's nice. Aha, that looks like the outpost down there. Yeah, that's the outpost down there. Okay, so we're nearing the end. I actually remember this level being longer for some reason. But anyway, we need to activate some more uh, platforms and stuff to actually get to our destination. I'm gonna save that uh, super butt bounce pellet, and these guys are just slipping and sliding all over the place. What the heck is up with this? Oh yeah, I've there's gonna be more enemies. About this. And it's the Lummox! Hey there, Lummox, what's up? Let's see how this works on ya. Wow, that's a two shot right there. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, this game... I, I really am starting to think that this game was rushed to some extent. Because this is just completely ridiculous. I don't remember this game being like this. So this is the room that the Lummox was stuck in, apparently. Not a very interesting room, but uh, whatever. All right. Oh, we still have several more power pellets to work with in case we run into anything in this room again. Another extra life. They're just giving these out like crazy. Oh, hey, look. Here's a thing. Oh, hey, look. Here's a thing. Okay, so we got lots of the Ancient Guardian, guys. Let's grab this. Okay, this is working out fine so far. Uh-oh. Okay, well, at least I beat one more with it. And it looks like we don't have a whole lot of the Ancient Guardians left to beat. Just don't use the Electroshock pellets. They don't actually work very well. Well, I'm sure that this will be sufficient to uh, make our technology work. Let's just rev roll down this hallway. What now? Oh, that now, of course. Uh, okay, we got four of these guys around, so let's start... <laughs> I just jumped on that spectral monster. Anyway. Let's start eating these guys. Come on, come on, come on. Aww. Let's get rid of these purple guys first this time. Because I don't like the purple guys. They shoot me with laser beams. Oh, oh, well. 
I actually only got rid of one of the purple guys. But at least all the red guys appear to be gone now. That should leave one more purple guy left. And there he is! Yeah, I think I'm out of his range when I'm all the way over here. Okay, you're done for. Oh, Yay! Dear. The spectral realm really isn't holding up very well. I guess maybe I should stop siphoning soon. Yes, stop now before it's too late for us all, you madman. <laughs> soon is when I make it, spooks. And for now, I want more power. More! Pac-Man is running in place. I... Why are there so many glitches? I don't remember this at all. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure that this is the end of the level right here. Since we just made it to the outpost. Okay, maybe I have to walk forward a bit more. Actually, let's get a good look at the outpost over here. I mean, we never really see it a whole lot. Look at all this. Orson sort of got it fortified and stuff. Oh, well, there we go. Alright, we're not very far into this video, so I think I'll continue and maybe do the entire next level. Because the next level is actually probably the shortest level in the game. Yes, I am very sure. Oh, Clyde, dude. What's your daydreaming, Munchie? Come on, Orson needs your pronto like. Whoa! You're just in time, my pastel friends. There's no time to lose. You better be bragging about him being our only hope for survival, because dragging him all the way in here was a real hassle, chump. Ah, Pac-Man did most of the work anyway. What can I do for you? We're in one tight spot, Pac-Man. Irwin's evil army has almost reached this very outpost. And if it goes, the entire planet will soon follow. Yeah. Really? So get in this thingamabob. Thingamabob? Clyde, Top Man is a Model 420 tri-cylinder micro-tolerance combat mechanoid. And if it didn't need a pilot to be functional, I'd adopt it as my very own son this second. <laughs> and don't mess this up. Shotgun! <laughs> Never thought you and me would both be on the same side of a power pellet, Munchie. Guess this is pretty historic. I'm happy for you. Keep your eyes on the road there, Pokey. Pokey? Oh, boy. Don't worry about your whatchamit thingy, Orson. I'll go easy on her. Good luck, Pac-Man! And try to bring Talkman back in one piece! Do it most! <laughs> uh, the dialogue of this game. Alright, so here we have level 10. There's these giant Katrons. And uh, we gotta blow them up. There's also these tiny Katrons. We have to blow them up too. And then there's these guys. I don't know the names of any of these things. The camera's kind of being annoying. And, uh, yeah. Stuff. Oh, hey, what's this thing? And I have more health, I think. I think that's your health in the bottom, uh, right over there. And I'm just pressing the L and R buttons like crazy. Here, let me do this. There we go. Here, let me do this again. Because this is fun. Spinning like a madman. 
But no, seriously, I'm about to die. What the heck am I doing? I better go get some health. Where the heck is all the health? Where the heck is all the hell? Oh, hey, there it is. I just have to make them shoot the boxes. What? Can't see. There we go. Let's just run over these guys. Whoa, more guys. Uh-oh, this is bad. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Gotten lots more health. Come on! Dang, I'm just getting destroyed. Okay, let's get back to this. Let's go. Here we go. I can't see anything. Whoa! What? Did it end? Oh, um, yay! Well done, I saved the outpost. I didn't even get to shoot. Because you can shoot with Clyde. But I didn't get to do that. Well, um, that's about the shortest level in this game. In fact, I don't think any levels in Pac-Man World 2 were that short. In fact, I still have enough time to go into the next level some. So, let's do that! So, yes, level 10, shortest level in the game. I would compare it to that part in Kingdom Hearts 2, whenever you have to kill all that army of, um, Heartless. Except, this is shorter. Oh, hey look, another siphon. Close, but no cigar, Orson. At least I can actually see the siphon. And I guess this is preferable to being teleported inside solid rock or something. Exactly! It simply wasn't safe to port you right next to it, Pac-Man. The auxiliary gyrotoid is acting up. And as for the third ulterior exoprobe, I think it's on its last legs. I'm here oh, to dear. destroy a siphon, yes? And then what? Ah, oh, uh, that I can help with. <laughs> Further energy sources within Irwin's fortress. It's near here, and you have to, uh, get inside. Sorry. i better get on with it, then. Indeed. So, we have more of these... Ma oh, Pac-Man trophy right at the beginning. Gee whiz. So, yeah, we have more, uh, mountain areas. That's cool. And I think we'll actually be seeing more of the ruins, too, in this level. At least I think we will. I thought we were going to see more of them in the last level, honestly, but um, we didn't really. Well, I guess we sort of did, near the end, but um, not to the extent that I was expecting. Light! What? Fresh air! Oh, how good it feels! Let me look upon you, my fellow free creature, you wonderful little yellow ball. I I'm sorry, what are you exactly? I'm Pac-Man. Um, <laughs> why are you holding a spoon? This is my salvation, the tool of my liberty from the mighty fortress. Away from the clicking chains, the burning eyes. Oh. oh. Red and glowing in the darkness, they see everything. Everything! So you dug your way out of Erwin's fortress with spoons. <laughs> whispered and whispered and whistles. They tried to take my mind. Oh, yes. They didn't get it, though. Didn't get it. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, you clearly need some alone time. Goodbye! Watch out for the burning eyes! Yes, yes, yes. I punched the burning eyes into the rest of their face. If you could even call that a face. Would you say that a Catron is a face? I don't know. Anyway, moving onward. So, as usual, we have stuff. We have a pack dot chain without a gem. 
We have a health wedge, we have wires, we have platforms, all sorts of stuff. As is usual for this game. So, let's get a move on. I see an apple down there, but I think it'd be better to get this diamond first. Then go down this little thing and uh, health wedge for some reason. There haven't been any enemies yet, but um, I guess just in case you fell down at some point. They really did do a good job with all the graphics in this game. It, they look pretty cool. Um, armalopes! If you see armalopes, you know you're going in the right direction. Even though this was actually the wrong direction, unless you just wanted that apple. Alright, so what do we have down here? Greetings in this area, Pac-Man. Uh-huh. Petros. I've seen them. They come through the wall. How the heck did this guy get my number? I guess so. I can help. A mighty hero. I captured an enslaved, but later to escape. My knowledge of the fortress beyond is indelible. I have a map for a mind and compasses for feet. Direction is my middle name. I see. His feet are perfectly normal, horse. It's the machinery at the other end that has issues. I missed the mighty hero part, but never mind. Well, that's certainly an interesting hill. And I think I'll need to climb it if I want to get all that stuff up there, so, uh... Excuse me, Armalopes, but I'm going to ignore you momentarily. Ah, I see. Pack dot chain that I can't use. Well, how about this way, then? And down I go. Aha, boxes. Boxes always contain secrets. Like a piece of health, a few pack dots, and a strawberry. Whee! Alright, Armalopes. Let's see what you got. But no, seriously, two hits are taking them out now. What? Why? What? Are the enemies getting weaker? Because I'm pretty sure you don't actually get stronger in this game. Like, there aren't any stats or anything for getting stronger and stuff. Okay, well, I have a blue gym now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use that. I remember that in this area, there are lots of exceedingly annoying puzzles. And platforming sections as well. There's Those are pretty annoying in this area, too. And I see a... A uh, cherry up there. I'm going to grab that real quick. Okay. After I see where this blue pack dot chain goes, I might just end the video there. Maybe. Well, okay. It just led up to this. So I might go a little bit further. I mean, I am going further, so I don't know what this might business is all about. <laughs> anyway, okay, this door is open, so let's head on in there. Bats. It's never good to see bats. Oh my. This is going to end badly. I can just feel it. No. What do we have? We have... death. I'm gonna try to get down there. Because there's a button down there. You know what? Y you know what? Forget the things. Or don't! Okay, uh, new plan going to jump down and grab that. Nope. You know, I wonder if I can just drop down from the swingy things. Maybe if I press the B button. It would help a lot if I could do that. I can! That helps a lot. Okay. 
All right, let's try to make it to the other side without getting torched. Camera, you're not... You're being a camera again. And that's death. Well, folks, I think I'm actually going to end this video here. So, until next time, I'm Mr. Game of Pie. See you later.